passed. Okay, so uh, when we do the snap on, clap on, clap off movie, we're gonna need to tell the movie to start playing when the volume level from the microphone goes past a certain threshold. And there's a nice object in Max called past. So in past, um, you have to tell it what the threshold is. So in this case, past zero, the argument is set to zero here, but let's say past 0.5, let's say past 0.5. And uh, when it go when your value goes past, you know, and, and it actually is a little weird because it only it only triggers when it goes past on the way up. So here we went past bang. 0.5 and it, it triggered the bang. Now when I when I pass the threshold going below 0.5, it won't trigger anything. Past only works on the way up. That isn't that weird. Shouldn't I do. Should, I know it is weird. It should go in both directions, but um, you can dynamically change that threshold if you want to. So I have a number, I have a slider here that produces zero to one value. And it's going into this set dollar sign one. And all that set dollar sign one, the dollar sign one is gonna be replaced by whatever numerical value is coming in. So if you say like set 0.7 and you send that to past, past is gonna reorient itself so that the value that it's looking for is it's not, no longer its initial argument, but it's its new value, it's like 0.7. So if we set our threshold at 0.809, now nothing's gonna happen until we go past that threshold and it triggers that bang. And again, it won't trigger it on the way down, only on the way up. You see here, I wish we had that make a bleep thing connected to it, now you can hear it beeping. But um, <clears throat> does that make sense? Why do we have this past 10? Oh, you Just can to show that, you know, we're using it here with a slider, but that on the right, it's just taking a numerical value. Yeah, any numerical value will work. And on the way down, it doesn't do it. On the way up, it does it again. And that's past. Past. Yep. It'll all come together in a minute. <laughs>